Hey Evil Dead fans, this is one of the final tutorials on how to make Ash's Chainsaw from Ash vs. Evil Dead. I'm going to go over it quickly on the installation. Of course, I've already installed everything. It's sitting where I want it to sit and look. If you've watched my last update video on it, you would know that's already put together. Now, the first thing you want to do is put in your inner bracket that holds on the bar. Now, that's going to involve the chainsaw bar, the chain, the gears, and the inner piece that covers the back side of the uh, chainsaw bar. Now, there's no perfect way of doing it. You can put the bracket on first and then put the bar on with the gears. It's, it's tedious, there's no perfect way of doing it. It's a pain in the butt. Or there is a method which is hard as well to where you put everything on the bracket first and then you somehow slide it through this opening on the bottom here and make it fit correctly. So once that's done, you're going to want to uh, install your top. Now by now you should have your handle up here installed and your inner handle. Now if you haven't done that, put it on. Now once that's on, you're going to make sure it fits in here and you want to bolt it up here. Now I'm talking about that groove over here, it needs to fit in. And then the next step, if you haven't put your inner handle in, you want to put your inner handle in. And the step after that, you want to put your cuff in. Now, I had installed this on this part of the body before I installed it on the cuff. So what I did is put my cuff through, installed this bolt, and the two bolts on the bottom that have that same bracket like this that connect to the body. And when I was done with that, what I did is put these two pieces, I slid them into this piece here, and then I connected this bracket with this bolt to the uh, um, cuff here, and then installed the last three body bolts. And then finally I just put this on. And if you notice, I haven't installed this yet. I got that um, drying right now, and I'll install that pretty soon. Now. It's done, it looks good. Am I 100% satisfied with it? No, I am not. Now, this is why. This top looks just a, just a tad big, just a tad tall. And it's actually, should be to about right here. Not even a quarter of an inch difference. All the way down here. Not much of a difference. Now, am I going to rip it apart to fix that? No, I'm not going to modify the top. I'm not going to do any of that because if I do that, either got to make a brand new top or modify this one. I'll have to shave down the bottom of the body to where the cuff goes through, and I'll have to make a new top handle because all this alignment, this one might be okay. This alignment here and this piece right here, I would have to start over. So I would have to make a whole brand new top handle. I mean, from here, it looks a little tall. Like I said, I'm not gonna rip it apart to do it, because that's just plain stupid. But from this view, it looks really, really, really nice. I mean, it looks damn near perfect. But it fits my hand, that's the whole purpose of it, is to make sure your hand fits, and make it look as close as possible as you can. The hump is actually, to me, re represent or resembles the Army of Darkness hump a little bit more. So, that being said, yes, I am satisfied with it. Not 100%, but I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied enough that I'm not gonna rip it apart. So, but if, if you have a problem with your hump and you think it might be too tall, there's gonna be a lot of modifying that you'll have to do. Now, one trick, to uh, fix that without actually having to do that is uh, a, tri a trick I call uh, just basically tricking your eye. Now, the color red catches your eye more than any other color. That's why they don't. when you have a kid who has a car, you don't want it to be red because it catches the cop's eye pretty quick. And that's why insurance is a lot higher for red cars. I don't understand it, but that's the truth. The red cars, they just catch an eye a lot more. Now, 
if you want that hump to look a little less tall, when you do your stressing with the black paint, which I haven't finished yet, you want to put a little more black stressing along this line up here and the top. So when you see it from a distance here, you notice that this side looks way smaller than this because that black is hiding that red. Now, if I wouldn't have done it, it'd look a heck of a lot taller. So that's a way to fix that problem without having to rip it apart. You may know that it's a little taller than you like, but it's a good way to trick your eye and be satisfied with it. Because even like that, I'm satisfied with it. I do look at it and go, man, it could be just a, just a tad shorter. But, you know, I can't argue with it. It looks good. Fits my hand, it's comfortable. And that's basically it. I mean, you want, you want to be satisfied with it. You want it to be comfortable. You don't want to cut your hand up when you have it on. And if you watch my past video, yes, it will sit on its cuff. That's perfect. So, um, on a price point, on building one, basically all the supplies, including the chainsaw body, probably came up to about 200 bucks. All the supplies for it, including paint, all my grinding, or my cutting wheels, all the metal I had to put on the inside, the cuff, all the cuff pieces, all this metal for the handles, the wood for the handles, the milliput that I use on this, the bondo for the top. So yeah, about 200 bucks. I'd say we run about 200 bucks. Maybe a little more depending on what kind of paint you buy and how much it costs you for the buy the chainsaw. And now I'm talking about just straight up buying this. Oh, actually probably about 250, including the chainsaw bar and the chain. Sometimes you have to buy it separate. If you buy it separate, you might have, may run into buying a 20 inch bar at about $70 and buying the chain for another 25. But if you go on eBay and you buy just one that's supposed to fit but doesn't quite fit and you have to modify it, you could save some money and it could only run you, like this one ran me 40 bucks counting the chain and the bar. But I had to modify it. Oh, and another thing you have to buy is sandpaper. Nuts and bolts, if you don't have that already, and the tools if you don't have the tools you have to go out and buy that stuff and that just brings it way higher but if you have the tools and you have a lot of the nuts and bolts let's not even count that so yeah i'd say you run about 250 maybe a little more and then you got to think of the time you put into it oh and another thing is that grill piece to put on the side now i, I got it drying it's pretty much done i'll show you what it looks like here and i bought it on ebay for 25 bucks same kind of bought last time it usually comes black and you have to modify it a little bit to fit better and kind of smooth out the bottom. See, I got a little bit on my hand right there. Just barely. So that's another 25 bucks. So we'll say about 250, 275. Now you count your time in, if you count in about 10 bucks an hour, yeah, that could run you another, I don't know, 200, to three hundred dollars depending on how much time you put into it and how much your time is is precious to you so if I was gonna sell one like this I honestly would not sell it for less than three hundred and fifty dollars I would probably sell it for about three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars considering everything that you, all the time and money and everything that you put into it I mean if you look down here you can't see behind it because of that backing. The bottom right there, everything's sealed in. All the paint's not done yet, and I still didn't put that last nut on, but I'll do that here pretty soon. But yeah, it takes a lot of time. Oh, and Gorilla Glue. You need Gorilla Glue, and you need Super Glue. So, if you've been doing this when I've been with my lessons here, my tutorials, you, you know what you need. But yeah, probably about, I'd say about 400 bucks just because of the time that's been put into it and how good it looks. I've seen ones that look a lot less detailed sold for way less. And I've seen some that have great detail sold for less, but usually they put that up for bid and you know, it just, 
just depends on, you know, at the time what people are willing to pay for it. Be honest, if if you have one and you want to sell it and, and you want to sell for about 400 bucks, but people aren't buying it for it, you may have to drop your price. But for me, I, I just don't make them to sell. I make them because I want them. And if somebody wants to buy one, like I've said before, you have to just let me know, contact me, and I can get it going for you. And I'll let you know right away how much it'll cost. I don't have to have to uh, you know run a run a thing of all the numbers because I, I pretty much got it under control of how much it needs to be. And uh, what model? The models really don't matter on how how much it is. Really, it's just how much time it takes you and how nice you want it to look and how what the customer really wants in it. If he doesn't care about the gears in it, then that the price drops down like at least a hundred bucks because that is a pain that is time consuming to make that bracket and to make everything just perfect or if he doesn't care about filling in this side or if he doesn't care if the cuff hangs down or gaps you know things like that you know one very very simple one let's say you have the body and they just want a flat top they want the cuff hanging down they don't care about the gaps and they don't care about the size of the chainsaw bar. I mean, about 200 bucks right there, 200 bucks for it. Cause it's just, it's, it's a very simple model. And doing stuff like, doing one like that probably wouldn't take you, you know, more than a day, really. Um, well, I'd say a couple of days cause you'd have to still do paint and bondo work, so. Um, unless they won, like I said, they won the flat top, then you don't have to do that. But really, that's uh, one of the last tutorials. I, I'm going to do probably one more or two more tutorials on the paint and the installation of that. Other than that, it's done. And then we'll be starting on the Book of the Dead. You guys have a great day. Bye.